Hi YouTube, how are you all? I hope you're all looking after yourselves and keeping well. Thank you for joining me on another adventure. And today's adventure starts in the town of Woburn, Bedfordshire. And I will be taking you on an on-foot safari. So if you like wild beasts, stay tuned, you'll enjoy this one. I'll also be taking you around the deer park and giving you a quick whistle stop tour of Woburn town itself. So let's head to the start of the trail. And uh, yeah, you know what I'm going to say next? It's time to rock up and ramble. Let's go for it. A real positive thing about this walk is there is a free car park in the centre of Woburn town itself, just opposite the church behind me. Here are the what three words for that free car park. It's a generous car park. You could probably get over 100 vehicles in there. But if you're coming on a Saturday or a busy time of the year, such as the holidays, you want to get here early to avoid disappointment. There are other places in the town where you can park, but they're usually limited to about two hours. Just be mindful of that for the car park opposite the church. There's no time restrictions, so you can park there all day and it won't cost you a penny. Bonus! We love free parking, don't we? Ticks have been found in this area. Avoid tick bites. Stay on public footpaths. So here's a map of the Woburn estate. One half is the Deer Park and the other half is Woburn Safari Park. It's not open access, so you do have to stick to the rights of way. I'm smiling so much is because the bird song this morning was absolutely wonderful. I can hear some quackers over there, some other birds up there. Oh wow, creation is very much alive today. Love it. So loud, so vibrant, so full of life. It's an absolute joy to listen to. Oh, we've got a family of swans going on over there and hopefully I'll be able to show you some of the deer that Woburn is renowned for. They have different species of deer here but I don't know what I'll come across today. This is a walk I have done a few times before, lots of different variations of it um, but only time will tell and I'm hoping I'll have something really interesting to show you guys and girls a little bit later on in the vlog. foggy I can barely see where I'm going. Thankfully it is well way marked throughout the abbey itself. I've only seen one deer so far but there's hundreds of them here so keep keep the eyes peeled. Hopefully we'll come across them a little bit later. There they are, there they go. Young stags. And then what called bucks, I'm not sure. The very first time I walked through this section of Woburn Abbey, there were zebra in the enclosure behind me, and I quite literally took maybe about a metre and a half off the footpath, and a zookeeper drove up in their Land Rover started screaming through a megaphone go back to the footpath this is over property yeah they are really hot on it here and you know okay i should have been on it but if you put a zebra next to a footpath people are gonna, are gonna take photos of it aren't they i mean come on now who wouldn't you don't see zebras in bedfordshire every day do you anyway that's the main entrance to the safari park so it's a vehicle only zoo so if you want to get your car wrecked by tiny little monkeys pulling off the windscreen wipers, there you go. Or you can walk through the um, safari park, stick into the rights of way and get a free safari from it. <laughs> <laughs> I found elephants. How exciting. I 
I've now left the safari park section of Woven Abbey and I'm now just walking through this very vibrant, lovely, luscious green woodland. So I saw plenty of zebra, which I couldn't pick up on the camera because they were quite far away. Something that looked a bit like a yak, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, one giraffe and uh, several rhinos and elephants. So that was a treat. So yeah, why not take a free safari on foot through Bedfordshire? See what wild beasts might pop up on the way. Ooh. I've got some wallabies to show you now. Hoppity hoppity hop. Hop hop. Now if I zoom in, can you see the jerry in her pouch? That's oh, not too bad, can you see it? Congratulations! In a moment I'll be leaving Woburn Abbey and heading into the little town of Woburn itself. I might treat myself to a nice hot cup of coffee and a, a little snack or something. And then what I'll do is I'm going to head back into the deer park area and now the fog's lifted and try and capture some more footage of the deer herds. And uh, yeah, the fog has definitely lifted now and visibility is much better. I mean it was quite impressive seeing those stags emerging from the mist it was like something out of a, a harry potter movie you know with the patronus and what have you <laughs> yes i am a harry potter fan sorry um but yeah right let's go and check out woburn itself because it's not just about woburn abbey there's a lot more this little town than meets the eye <laughs> down the road to the Bikers Cafe, um, which isn't far at all. I'll get myself a nice proper cup of tea, builder's tea, maybe a snack, like a, I don't know, sausage sandwich or a greasy bacon sarnie. <laughs> I don't mind the Bikers Cafe. That seems right up my street, really. Got a brew, I'm happy. Cheers everyone. And I've also got a tuna mayo baguette for lunch a bit later when I start to get peckish. It's only 11 o'clock in the morning, so it's, uh, yeah, I'm not hungry just yet. So I've walked down this road towards the opposite end of the deer park in Woburn Abbey. And the fog has well and truly lifted now. It's actually quite a pleasant day. So hopefully we can capture some more images of the deer herds that Woburn is famous for. Only time will tell. Possibly the best tuna mayo baguette I've ever had. It's on like a tiger bread and they're really generous with the mayonnaise so that is an absolute win. Ooh, I only managed to finish half of that baguette. Absolutely lovely. If you're driving through Woburn I would definitely recommend the Triumph Bikers Cafe. Really good value for money as well and I'll put this in my bag and have it later. Yeah really good and the sun's come out and it's warming up nicely and you can actually see the deer herds dotted around the park now, completely different from when I was here at eight o'clock this morning. So I'm really gonna make a day of it and try and get some nice shots. But obviously you've gotta to stick to the footpaths. Also, you're not allowed to have picnics in Woburn Deer Park, just to make you aware. I don't think me sat on a, a tree branch munching on a, a baguette constitutes as a picnic um, because it involves a blanket. So 
I think I can get away with that. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a really nice day. It's quite a lot of people out now on the footpaths. Um, yeah, it's really, really nice atmosphere. Um, most people are very friendly, will say hello to you, stop and chat. I like that kind of thing, that social aspect of walking as well. Right, let's put my, my baguette back in my bag and we'll carry on rambling around. This has to be one of my favourite Bedfordshire walks and I need to get out in Bedfordshire much more because it's not really that far from where I live and uh, it's the next county to North Ants where I'm from and Woburn Deer Park is beautiful. I've managed to capture a fair bit of footage of the deer. I mean they are quite far away but you don't really expect them to get too close to humans and I also managed to capture some of the wild beasts from the safari park side as well. Did a little lap through the town itself, stopped off at the Bikers Cafe for a nice baguette, which was amazing. Um, if you're in Woburn, do pop in that cafe. Very reasonably priced and the food is delicious. And yeah, it's great. Really, really positive day, really positive walk. I was hoping for about 10 miles, but I think it'll be somewhere between eight, nine miles um, because I kind of have sort of made it up as I've gone along but I know the area I've been here a few times before you can't really get lost and um, the footpaths are really obvious and yeah it's, it's been a really good day ah but I haven't seen a black squirrel I was really hoping to see another one maybe the one I saw in January was just a one-time event and I'll never see one again but I will keep my eyes open just in case one pops out from behind a tree or something <laughs> but yeah really good walk so um yeah, if you do come down to Bedfordshire or up to Bedfordshire, depending on where you're located, uh, do consider Woburn Deer Park for a walk. It is lovely. Um, relatively flat, not too much of an incline. Um, yeah, and you don't have to do a long walk. You can just do short walks as well. So do consider it. Right, I'm going to slowly head back towards my car now. And uh, yeah, just take a nice leisurely stroll for the last part of today's walk. <laughs> 